distance and midpoint formulas, okay? This is distance formula. D equals x squared minus x1, or x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared, okay? Does anyone know where they came up with distance formula? No. Do we know anything that would have given us this? No. Um, yes. How about Pythagorean theorem? Um, yeah. Okay, good. Because what it what is this right here? Is this a leg or is this hypotenuse? Hypotenuse. hypotenuse. So isn't this like like x1, x2 to x1, wouldn't that be like a squared, y2 minus y1, wouldn't that be like, oh, well, maybe b squared, and take the square root of it and get c? Huh. Yeah. Do what? So, so what they've done is they've come up with distance formula based off of Pythagorean theorem. They've just changed it to where it's on a coordinate plane. The distance between points 5, 3, and 1, negative 2. So I need to know distance formula. Distance equals the square root of x squared, x2 minus x1 squared. Plus y2 minus y1 squared. Which, what would be my x2? One minus what's my x one? Five. Uh, what will be my y two? Negative two. What will be my y one? And then we square that. What is one minus five? Negative four. Okay, now distance can't be negative, but do we need to worry if you get like negative numbers inside here? No. No, because why? Yes. Yeah. Because you're squaring them, which is going to make it positive, right? What's negative two minus three? Negative four minus five. Negative five. What is negative four times negative four? Sixteen. What is five? What is negative five times negative five, or five negative five squared? Uh, no, it's positive 25. Not negative because it's a negative times a negative is always positive. Does anyone know what 16 plus 21. 25 is? 21. It's 41. Okay, which here's my answer. Screw to 41. Do I need to write plus or minus? No. No. Yes. No. 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 Why? It's, it's asking for what? Distance. distance. Can distance be negative? No. no. Do I need to go ahead and do I need to get our calculator and do square root of 41? No. No. Okay? Because it'll give me 6.4, which is 6.4, same thing as the square root of 41. Yes. So here is my answer. Okay. Alright, write this down. Alright, so we need to do square root of x2 minus x1, I'm going to go with negative 7 minus negative 5 squared plus uh, then y2, so we got negative 2 minus y1 squared. Make those positive. Negative 7 plus 5 is negative 2. Uh, negative 2 plus 8. Uh, would be six. Um, so now negative two times negative two is four. Six times six is thirty six. Which gives me square forty, which I have to reduce. One. Okay, screw to four times the screw of ten will give me that. Screw to four is two. So my answer is 2 squared 10. That's the only answer I'm going to take. This is midpoint formula. This will tell you the coordinate of the midpoint between two points. 
the point that's exactly in the middle. All right, this will tell you where the point is that's exactly in between one point and the other point. To find the midpoint, all right, to find the x coordinate of the midpoint, we take x1 plus x2, and then we divide it by 2. That's going to tell me this point right here, this x coordinate. We take y1 plus y2. That will tell me this y coordinate right here. Okay. So that's how you find midpoint. Just take x1 plus x2, divide by 2, then take y1 plus y2, divide by 2. Those are your two coordinates. All right, so write this down. This is what your homework's going to look like. It's going to say find the coordinates of the midpoint of the segments with endpoints at these two points. So find the coordinates of the midpoint. These are our two endpoints we need to find. So here's our formula for midpoint. Our x coordinate is x1 plus x2. Divide by 2. Our y coordinate is y1 plus y2. Divide by 2. So x1 would be negative 1 plus 3, because that's our x2. Divide that by 2. Then we have y1, which is negative 2, plus negative 4. Guys, be quiet. Then we divide by 2. Negative 1 plus 3 is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Negative 2 plus negative 4 is negative 6. Negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. So if you were to draw these two points, this point and this point on a, line, or on a graph, 1, negative 3 would be exactly in the middle. It would be right, in, at right between them. <laughs> Write this down. 12, 3, and negative 8, 3. I need to find the midpoint between these. So I need to take 12 plus negative 8 over 2. And I need to take 3 plus 3 over 2. Okay, 12 plus negative 8 is 4. 3 plus 3 is 6. Well, 4 divided by 2 is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So directly in between these two points is 2, 3. I don't think so. I don't think it asks you to graph it today. Um, it might. Here's your homework. 